Hi everyone and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm very excited because we are revisiting our beloved Mexican rice recipe with a few tweaks. It's gonna be delicious. Let's start with the sauce that's going to flavor and give us that beautiful red color that we love about this rice. Start by roughly dicing a quarter of a large onion and into a blender it goes. And while you're at it, small dice a quarter of a large onion. Transfer that into a separate dish because we're gonna use it later on. Set it aside until we need it. Now to tomatoes. You can use Roma, I'm using vine ripe because they were looking gorgeous at the store, nice and ripe, and that's exactly what I need. So I'm just gonna remove that stem area and roughly dice them. Into the blender they go as well. Let's do half of a bell pepper. Just remove that stem area, the seeds, and do the same thing you've been doing with the onion and tomatoes. All right, we have a few more ingredients for this sauce. Three peeled garlic cloves, two tablespoons of tomato paste, which is gonna give us that rich tomato flavor with the umami qualities we love in our dishes. Half a teaspoon of ground annatto, or as we call it in Spanish, achiote. One teaspoon of ground coriander. A quarter of a teaspoon of ground cumin, of course. And finally, four cups of low sodium chicken broth or stock. Cover and blend until it is completely smooth. Wonderful, set this aside until we need it. Let's move on to the rice. I have two cups of long grain rice right here. I'm simply going to rinse it to get rid of that surface starch and then make sure you drain all of that water. Place a large pan over medium heat and heat three tablespoons of a smooth olive oil. Once had, carefully add in the rice. Stir continuously. At first, the rice is gonna kind of stick to the bottom, but don't worry about it, it's not a huge deal. Just keep stirring. And before you know it, it's not gonna be sticking anymore. Ultimately, the goal here is to get this rice nicely toasted, golden brown. If you feel like the pan is overheating, just lower that heat because this has to toast nice and slow, evenly. This rice is nice and loose, not sticking anymore. I've been stirring it for about three minutes. Now add in the diced onion and keep stirring. All right, now I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit because I can see my pan is starting to overheat. This process does take about 10 to 15 minutes, but it is crucial when making Mexican rice. The color is evenly distributed nice and golden brown. The onion is slightly browned. Once you get it to this point, carefully add in the sauce. And just stir everything to combine. Oh yes. boy, now I can smell it. <laughs> Slice one serrano pepper lengthwise, but don't cut through the stem. We just want it opened and add it in. Also add in two cups of mixed veggies. These are actually frozen. I defrosted them, of course. Give it a quick stir. Lastly, add salt to taste. You do wanna make sure that broth is well seasoned because if not, you are gonna notice the lack of salt at the end. And I added one tablespoon of kosher salt. Get it mixed in. Bring this up to a gentle simmer, then cover it and let it cook until all of the broth evaporates and the rice is nice and tender but not mushy. It'll take about 20 to 25 minutes. This rice is done, it took me 25 minutes exactly and I didn't cover it once, just to check how the broth was doing, see if I had enough. All right, let me show you. Look at that beauty, mm. Do you see that tomato film on the side of the pot? Carefully mix that into the rice. Try not to break the grains. Cover it again and let it rest for 10 minutes before serving. Now all that's left to do is take a fork and fluff that rice. You know what, I'm just gonna switch to a spatula even though I was doing it carefully because I didn't wanna scratch 
my beautiful pan, but let's just be on the safe side. You can also do it, kind of loosen it up. Do it carefully though. You don't want to break up your beautifully cooked rice. We are ready to serve. All right, we are ready to taste. Can we explain over here, elaborate? I'm gonna make me a taco. Well, when Rosanna and I met, she remembers that I used to eat tacos made out of just that is true. Fried rice. I just remembered he used to make tacos out of rice. We used to do that too, but not as often. Wow. <laughs> Obviously, my rice was not as good as this. Um, should I say no to that or? <laughs> I don't no. know what to say, but okay. Be humble now. I. I... <laughs> All right, let's do this. Oh man, just the smell. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Mm. I can taste that serrano, mm -hmm. right? If you want to omit it because you don't want Early. it spicy, uh -huh, because you don't want that subtle kick of heat, you can omit it, that's fine. But I am loving this. I love the, the, the touch of heat it gave it. Good. Mm. As soon as you taste it, you start to experience each and every flavor. It is not simple at all. It is just packed with so much goodness. All right, one more because I can't eat that much rice. <laughs> I guess Nelson's gonna be the lucky one. At least you got to taste it. And I love it. Even when I go to my mother's house, she's like, can you whip up some rice? And I do it. Mexican rice has been in my life pretty much since I was little. My mom would make it almost every day, so. As soon as you started eating solid food. Yes. All right, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget that you can follow me on all of my social media platforms. Don't forget to like this video, and until the next one, bye.